I did not take this job to be stuck on the same stupid route forever. I thought I was going to travel the world, meet interesting people. I thought I would have adventures. I thought I was going to be a dancer. Oh, my God. Is that how crazy I sound? <laughs> what happens when you take a round-trip flight from L.A. to Las Vegas every weekend with a self-involved airline crew and eccentric passengers? Kind of like working here every morning. No. <laughs> We have Ed Weeks and Kim hey. Matula joining us right now <laughs> to tell us about City's new uh, mid-season comedy, L L.A. Vegas. L.A. to Vegas, LA baby, Vegas. and in Toronto right now. Congratulations on this show. We're so happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Looks thank like you. a whole lot of laughs. So yeah. tell people what it's about. We pretty much summed it up, but it's got to be ridiculously fun. We it saw Dylan McDermott in it too. Yeah, we're just we're just stuck. We're stuck on a plane every weekend, mm -hmm. LA to Vegas, and then Vegas back to LA the next day. And right. so you see everybody's hopes and dreams going into the weekend, and then <laughs> those Coming shattered back. hopes shattered. and dreams. <laughs> And rings the under the eyes, alcohol poisoning, like I have this morning a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a 40 minute flight in real life. So it's actually every episode could play out like an actual exactly. pretty much in real time. All real time. Yeah, yeah. Just with some commercials in the middle. So tell us a little bit about your characters. Uh, well, I play Ronnie, the head flight attendant okay. on, on the flight, and she is she's big dreams, you know, uh, she has a lot of hopes for her life, and she just has not uh, made the right decisions. She's an incredibly impulsive person and that has gotten her into a little bit of trouble but it's also hilarious we sometimes. all need exactly more laughter in our lives and all we could see is the trailer we're not allowed to see anymore because yeah. it's the big secret right yeah but it is so funny the writing is amazing so when you looked at it did you think my gosh there's magic here yes Yes, I, I can stay in the States for a little longer. <laughs> right, yeah, I can My visa that. gets uh, extended. <laughs> um, no, the writer, yeah, it's yeah. it's so well written, so beautifully observed. Uh, we have such a great team, Lon Zimmer, the yes. creator, Steve Levitan from Modern Family Directing. It and just they're such like a good really... pair. Like on set, they could be very, they would just throw out new jokes for us all the time. They'd say, hold on, give me a minute. And they'd talk for two minutes and then have a whole slew of new jokes for us to try out and play with. And, and you guys, what's interesting about it is you're shot in, in, a lot in the same way that Modern Family is, is that single camera yeah. shot, mm -hmm. yeah. which kind of changes the whole dimension of what a comedy is, because you get to see things just a little bit closer. Is it fun to shoot it that way? Is it harder to shoot it that way? It's fantastic. Yeah. It's, and we, we pretty much had the same crew as Modern Family, we did. in fact. We yeah. And so it was already such a well-oiled machine. And they just, they, they cover everything, these cameras. And so you can do the smallest, most subtle thing, and they'll, they'll find it. They're in your face. They're right in your face. <laughs> right yeah. here. And guys, it is some tight quarters, which means you get to know each other a lot better. So we want to get to know you a lot better. So we've come up with a game. You'll see your faces on either side. Oh, We're going to ask God. you a question. What if I just never stop looking at this for the rest of my life? This is the end of my career. Amazing. Like Narcissus. Oh, my God. Right, who is We're gonna this ask guy? You and you have to hold up who you think the answer Answer okay. best answers to the question. Okay, so right. we're going to begin with this. Question one: Who's more likely to fall asleep and drool on strangers next to them? Who's most likely? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel a pattern emerging. <laughs> Who is more likely to show up late to a flight between the both of you in real life? Oh. Oh. Oh, we agree. Oh, wow. it's me. Oh, for sure. sure. It's kind of late. Who yeah, this is more likely to charm their way up to an upgrade in first class? Oh. Matula. Oh, oh, really? Okay. That accent can get you into anything. <laughs> that is true. 100%. Could ask my three wives. <laughs> I've been guilty of this one. Who is most likely to bring smelly food on board? You? But, oh, you both? <laughs> I cheated I there. I brought, I brought like, like a Thai food sushi thing on your plane once, and I, I felt that. great about it. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was delicious. And lastly, uh, who's more likely to get a hold of the mic and make announcements on the speaker over the plane? A little rambunctious. She has a lot of very awful opinions. <laughs> she likes to share. Shoppers. Yeah. <laughs> you two are a delight. We cannot wait to see it. LA to Vegas kicks off right here at City TV. Look out for everybody this fall. We'll be back with more BT right after this.